Okay, Botany Cemetery, down here to visit the Rellos again. And usually, well, all the time, the first person we come to see is Peter John Reardon. That's our pop from Mum's side. And he does have a, a headstone now, thanks to um, our cousin. He managed to get one, even though the armed services said he didn't serve enough, even though he was in the first and second light horse. In, you know, just doesn't make sense. But anyway, here he is. How you going, Pop? If any of the relatives ever want to come and visit, he's literally just near the toilets. Very, very good. Just in case. Anyway, that's Pop Reardon out of the way. God rest his soul. We love you, Pop. Now. We're at um, my father's side this time. This is his uh, grandfather and grandmother. Um, William Charles Hasty and Elsie May Hasty. Elsie was here first. Um, she passed away first, 59, and then um, great pop uh, Billy. Uh, he passed in 1971. Uh, these two have got a, a how could you call it a, a debatable history. Uh, we've heard a lot of different um, versions of what and where they come from um, but God bless them both we love you. Billy was in the First World War as well. Um, he did a bit of time over in Europe and that ended up getting wounded and been sent home in the end. Uh, uh, ironically, the only photo we've got of him uh, <laughs> that's clear anyway is uh, one of his mug shots when he got arrested back in the early 1900s. Wait, is that 1900 or 20? 20th century uh, well it was in 1912 or something like that but but have a go at this view they got here right eh? geez this is really nice here yeah. oh well, pop Nan and Pop, great Pop, great Nan, love you both, wish we would have been able to talk to you though, it would have been an interesting conversation, okay, we're on to the next one. Okay, this one is, is like a who's who of the, um, the matriarchs of our family when it comes to both um, mum and dad's side, um, including dad, dad's here. Um, First off, uh, Eddie was, well actually Michael, Uncle Mick was the first one that passed away. Here he is here, uh, Uncle Mick, God oh, bless you mate, we love you Mick. Here's the old man, yeah you finally got what you wanted, you always did didn't you? Anyway they got his date right, right for his, his birthday and when he passed away. Uh, here's, here's me brother, Eddie how are you bro? Sorry, I'd bring a beer, but I'm actually in detox at the moment. Okay, and here's Nan Reardon. How are you, Nan? She used to give me the best cuddles. I love my Nan. My Nan was awesome. And here, talking about awesome ladies, here's my other awesome lady, Nan Hasty. She used to send me down the road to get her a pack of Juboria and put on all the 50 cent bets. I'd go back to the Abbott's Hotel 
and she'd have a red fire engine ready for me and a big massive cuddle love you nan and here's one god bless her she used to make the best um milkshakes my auntie shirl how are you auntie shirl god bless you mate i did not know you were here she was a dead set dynamo when it come to making milkshakes I used to love going there she always made me a beautiful milkshake her and johnny all right well that's the mob here um one thing i will note too um they did a mistake on Nan Hastie's um she didn't die in 75 she died in 85 and uh this is just uh, some of the things you've got to put up with things from the past unfortunately we can't do nothing about that we know when she passed away anyway so we love you anyway Nan we miss you too I know you'd love a schooner of rashes if anybody wants to come here if you don't already know where it is it's actually right near the crematorium it's actually a stone throw away yeah. and we got also phil rustin um that we mate from um, the paper mills a apm he's just over here so there's a lot of botany people here uh, a lot of botany and maroubra yeah botany and maroubra they all come from this area oh so it's only fitting that they come back to this area okay this one is a, a guy from work um worked with him down in the rail saw worked him out in the yard was there with him for probably just under 20 years 19 and a half years uh, he might have left a little bit before me but uh god love you mate fantastic bloke Phil was a mad south supporter which a lot of people were in this area and he loved his job he loved his family a really beautiful man didn't mind a beer or two or a Kit Kat and a good yarn good to see you again Phil I'm oh, sorry I'm not gonna say good to see you uh, God bless you, Phil. I hope in the afterlife yeah, everything's going fine up there, mate. Hope you're looking after the rest of them, like Joey McGowan and all that. Okay, well, these were extended parts of my family, actually. I used to spend a lot of life in Bilga back in the 70s. Faye, she made the best stews. Frank loved his bunnies. Didn't mind a Benson and Hedges either. And a bit of it drink up the RSL. How are you, love? That's uh, Frank and Faye. That's Frank Senior and Faye. They were one of my best friends. Uh, I was in Farmers and they ended up being probably, well, they were, they were another mother and father to everybody in Bilka Crescent. Anyway, we love you both, and Faye, you made the best in us. They were awesome.